We have Gotta in the blue as a cloaky bot uh, versus in the red with amp bot it's diff 68. Second time I actually uh, cast something on diff 68 and well they aren't really matched very well against Gotta. I think they have like a 2% win chance only because well Gotta is the number one again who would have thought who is actually idling his factory because he wants to be extra extra greedy which well they can be because they are the number one while his enemy going for like a couple of ducks just a scout just to raid I don't know at that point sure at that point not sure why but I think that could be like for telling himself like I'm going to get defenses up here I hope and got a just going into reclaim over here and has already got the better economy a little bit in energy and will also have better economy for metal because of the reclaim which diff is only now going to start getting Doc, how well are you going to do against these glaives not sure because you do shoot two shot them but you're up against two and they heal back up after like five seconds so multiple glaives are coming out for Gada and well it's quite good just to like hey glaive is once again full HP so this duck isn't going to do anything and now duck is dead and takes down one glaive with it but that means 65 destroyed versus 80 lost why are you moving your commander there why aren't you re reclaiming more what why why points again I don't know is it just misclicking but I mean what is your hotkey for like adding a point then I mean yeah I don't know I know for me it's almost difficult to like place points with the hotkeys I've got set up and yeah Lotus goes down set and glaive here will probably not do anything this one will just scout here just to check like well there is nothing yet there yet and Archer is out for death which is quite good just because well it's a Raider Riot that is quite good at being a riot and these two ducks are going to be really really annoying and yeah there is a glaive here which should be like effectively one shot right by the ducks because there are two of them so these ducks should easily be able to deal with the glaives as long as they stop focusing the metal extractor and a second glaive goes down and the third one should go down as well yeah just barely so then Gotta here seems to have just gone around the archer which is which is a great way to deal with it and blower says night micro which could very well be the case I kinda missed it maybe or he means what was before that hey oh, welcome to Gotta lol um, I thought it was actually great micro by diff because well there is still one of the ducks up there one is still up against like I don't know five or six glaives total so only now all of the ducks are dead so I would actually say that it's great micro by diff but I guess I missed the fact that Gotta had great micro as well and here Archer just going to take down or try to take down one glaive so what does Gotta have and what he is he going to try and get up well more glaives versus his enemy with riots well you have to be really good if you want to do that or really stupid one of the two but I hope for Gotta that it's just really good and Archer doesn't push into the Lotus which makes sense Gotta has not even tried to go for the metal tractor, so yeah still reclaiming though which his enemy is not doing at all 
who has actually moved onto the side with this commander? Like, why don't you use your... Oh, there was a raid over there. Never mind. I forget about that one. Anyways, like, use your conch to, like, either reclaim over here or, like, get up more metal extractors, maybe. So. No defenses here for Garda. And it's not your versus glaives. There are quite a couple of glaives, though. So they should still do a decent or good job. And they do. Might have actually been cost effective, but I'm not sure. I think so, though. And it was definitely cost efficient because, well, reclaim is for Gata. And considering that it's Gata, they will most likely get the reclaim as well. So, three archers versus like three glaives. Yeah, no, doesn't matter what your micro is, but then those glaives are dead. Unless you micro them on the way, which, well, Gata did. And over here, probably expected his enemy to be there, but not yet. And no, here though, you could take down that Lotus and the economy after that. And they're trying it. And they will probably succeed with taking down the Lotus, but not the Metal Extractor. Actually though, they will take it down. Well, I guess these, I expected the Archers to be a little bit faster than they actually were. Here, yeah, Archers just, well, not going there. How much do you know about, like... Ah, uh, that's annoying. This is barely out of range for your radar. And Gata does have, like, decent radar coverage as well. But also not amazing. Gata morphing the commander. I think up to level 3. Because it's currently a level 2, right? That's how that works, right? I hope so. And it is true. Wow. And an annoying glaive that is going to take down one metal extractor. That's good. Very good glaive. And here, yeah, well, that's the thing about archers. They're raider riots, not just riots. So even against skirms, they're quite okay. Not great. And... Probably being up against Ronins is one of the better uh, skirmishes they can be up against. Just because of the rockets that don't home, right? Rockets don't home, missiles do, I think, so... Yeah, if they're up against scalpels, then it's not going to work. But Ronins, they can still, like, dodge a little bit. But, yeah, attack moved in, that's not the greatest micro ever. So this is not actually a good engagement at all. It could have been, like here, these two Ronins are not going to hit the archer anytime soon. And this is a problem for Dith, because this is a level 3 commander. That has, like, double auto repair and armor and machine gun versus, yeah... A radar and like standard beam laser. This thing is like how much DPS? More DPS and of course just in general stronger. And this archer is finally going to retreat straight into enemy fire. Great. So, well, Gada has got up a lot of skirms. And that's something that um, Amphibots can't really deal with. And Diff gives up, because he knows it was going to be the end. Just pushing in with these skirmishes would have slowly but surely would have just destroyed Diff. So, well done, that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left, but that's all I'm going to have for you today. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. Look at Gada. Look at this noob. He has the most excess metal of the two. He should have easily lost that.